What's going on everyone? Good morning. Super creepy, foggy morning here. Pretty quiet. I always feel like I should be more energetic in my intros, but sometimes it's pretty quiet outside of passing cars. Don't want to disturb other people. But anyway, like I said, super creepy looking morning. Uh, I got out here, it's like seven o'clock, and uh, we've been doing a lot of lake fishing recently. I'm gonna continue, kind of lake slash river fishing. It's like a river lake. Uh, so we're gonna continue to try and see what we come up with before the heat sets in. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, help support the channel, get more videos that way. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let's go catch some fish. All right, it's a cool morning. I'll try a little bit different tactic. I'll try the spinner bait, I'm kind of the mouth of this little creek area here. I'm gonna try this, even though it's probably like the carp I see everywhere else that are jumping and not bass, but I at least have to try. Right? There we go. All right, that didn't take long. Picked it up right off the bottom pretty quick on the Helgramite. Jumpy, jumpy little guy this morning. Somehow he managed to get wrapped up in my other line, hopping around here. I'm not exactly sure how. He got that underneath the rig, I guess, kind of like that. There we go. Alright guys, not a bad little first fish to start the day. Still kind of dink, dink status, I guess. But, um, you know, he's not the little tiny quarter pounders that I've kind of had recently, so. Well, I guess he's pretty small. But a good looking fish nonetheless. Get him back in the water. Good looking fish. Just hanging out right under all these trees and whatnot. Threw it under there, twitched it off the bottom for like one second, and there he was. Okay, so this, and what's crazy is like, I was, I was actually in the process of testing how deep this is. I just, I kind of pulled up to see, because this is only maybe a foot deep here. Like it's not deep at all. So, I don't know what kind of fish we'll be in for in that shallow of water, but he was certainly here. Ooh, underneath the tree, come on. Jumping over there, even though it's like super shallow. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. There we go. Oh. Yep, and he's fighting. Oh, that's a decent bass. Let me get the net, because I'm terrible about losing fish when they jump. Come on, buddy. There we go. That's a pretty nice bass. Yes. All right, we're not, we've not even been out here an hour and we've already, already got pretty nice chubby bass and a dink. I like my odds. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice one. Guessing a pound and a half. Like I said, I want to get better at being able to judge weight, so I'm going to weigh this guy. In case he flops off the scale, I'll give you guys a nice look at him. That's a pretty fish. Pretty fish. Definitely better than the, the dinks that I'm used to catching. I'm scared to let go of him. Two pounds, three ounces. All right, guys, that's a pretty good fish. Nice two pounder. So we'll get him back in the water. We messed around with him long enough. Fish, Let's see if he'll jump for us. Nope, he'll just turn away and go. All right, guys, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. Like most of the time I try new spots, like I always say, 
this is another spot I haven't been before further down on the lake slash river just kind of investigating this morning and it has not let me down it's another one on the Helgramite super shallow water over there like I said it's maybe a foot deep um, maybe a foot deep guys my whole point really in this channel is just to show you guys that I'm just kind of an average Joe uh, I'm not one of these guys who knows how to read the water keeps up with anything um, I know just enough about fish where they hide um, that kind of stuff but if you have this is a cheap kayak if you have a cheap kayak and get it can get on the water um, you can you can fish I mean this is like a $40 pole um, so you you definitely you don't have to be an expert to do this and catch what's pretty pretty decent fish. So the action's kind of stalled. Been back in this cove. Uh, tried a little bit of everything. Top water. Continued the Helgramite through my crankbait. Been following this parallel here, trying to hit this little ivy wall. And normally if there is a bass here, it strike. So I think it's just a shallow, one of those shallow carp coves. Um, definitely been in these before where it's just a bunch of carp cruising around and that's about it. So probably gonna head back out towards the main channel and see where we go from there. Of course, any fisherman worth his salt knows you have to at least try underneath this thing. I would like if this was still open. It looks like the ivy's overtaken it. There's a bridge and what I'm guessing is a tunnel underneath, which would have been awesome maybe to go through the tunnel and fish. So obviously we're very limited on what we can fish here, but if there is something back here, it's here. There we go, yep. There was. Saw my line moving. Okay, so he looks kind of dinky, pulling me right into the wall. Okay, not a trophy, not a bad fish. Okay, okay, that's not too dinky. He's a little dinky, not too dinky. splashed over there there we go another little bass for the day three fish in not a bad day not a bad day get him back in the water and he's off another one up for the today's favorite I guess somewhat usual favorite is a good old Nico Helgramite I think this is the green pumpkin one and this is the first one I've had long enough to catch I've caught like five or six fish on this now at least um, normally by now I get hung up and lose them so I've never as durable as they're supposed to be I've never really been able to test that but it's holding up so normally I use a lot of zoom plastics and about three fish in even dinks they're toast cruised up and down like probably done at least half a mile's worth of paddling or more and all this I don't know if it'll show up on camera is really shallow like even out to here you can easily stand in it so I don't know if we can find any more deep spots to go uh, where there, there might be fish I don't know what it's like further out but we started off with a bang but that may have been all we get Guys, I've paddled like literally over two miles according to the map um, to get to this creek that looks good but now that I'm here it may look like it's also really really shallow
I don't, all right, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a big wall over there. Some nice area to fish over here. I'm about out of time because I've paddled so far. I need to head back, uh, both before the storm gets here and because I got things to do. So I will definitely come back out here. There's a put in a little bit closer to here. So I'll come back next time and just try this area and see what we come up with. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, real quick, uh, for those of you who follow me or know me, uh, I am back to work now. Uh, currently working seven days a week at the time of this video. So not sure how quickly I'll be able to get another video out, but stay tuned. I will be back eventually. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you guys later.